Hey there, it's Bree, and today we are doing a book haul. So before I get into the book haul, in case you didn't watch my vlog that I think is going up before this video, you may notice as the light kind of changes because I'm using natural light, so it's gonna come in and out as clouds go over the sun, but you may start to notice that I have a giant lump on my head and I have like a cut here, a cut here. There's honestly cuts all over my face, but I think depending on the lighting and my makeup and everything, you may or may not see it. I have always been suspicious that my dogs try to kill me and now I know for sure that they do. So both of my dogs are very heavy chewers. So the toys that I get them are very heavy duty and they have this one toy that is very much like a barbell. It is like heavy and it's like solid. And I was kind of like laying on my stomach on the end of the bed, go watch a vlog, you'll find out why I've been laying on my stomach a lot because I have another injury prior to this. Um, it's been a rough month for me, which is why there hasn't been a video in a while. Um, so I'm laying on my stomach, I'm listening to an audiobook, playing a game on my phone. My dog grabs the toy, so it's like, you know, in her mouth, jumps on the bed and smacks me in the head with it and all of a sudden I'm just bleeding like crazy. I look in the mirror, I have this giant lump on my forehead, a cut here, cuts all over my forehead, it's a mess. But I think because of the lighting and everything, I tried to adjust it as best I could, but it goes in and out. You might not see it as much, but every so often you might catch a glimpse of my uh, unicorn head. Anyway, <laughs> I have a book haul here. These are books that I've been like kind of hanging on to. I don't, I haven't been buying a lot of physical books lately, so I've been kind of hanging on to these for a while. So I may or may not remember where I got all of these. I actually have two that are still in the package, but hopefully I remember <laughs> where I got all of these. But let's go ahead and start talking about the books that I hauled. So the first book I have is Unmasked. It's My Life Solving America's Cold Cases by Paul Holes. This is actually a book that my mom gave to me and she, my mom has been getting into true crime. My mom and I listen to true crime podcasts and I told her about this book because I had read it and she picked it up. Paul Holes is the detective that helped discover the Golden State Killer and he also solved a ton of cold cases. I will say this book has a ton of triggers in it. He goes very much into detail about crime scenes, but I truly, like after picking up this book, I truly feel like the only detectives that can truly solve these cold cases, which I think I've read, there's only 1% of cold cases are ever solved. I truly feel like in order for a detective or detectives to solve cold cases, they have to dedicate their entire lives to it and sacrifice their life to figure out these cold cases. And I genuinely feel like that's unfortunately what Paul Holes had to do. So you see a little peek into his personal life, but also a peek into the cold cases that he's solving and the Golden State Killer. I didn't realize actually how interesting this cover is. This is Paul Holes, by the way. It's really cool, it has like spot UV and stuff on it. But yeah, my mom ended up picking it up and she, I listened to it on audio, I borrowed it from Libby, but she ended up picking it up and then giving the book to me. And I figured I'd hang on to it because I did like the book. And then my daughter and I were out running a bunch of errands and we stopped by the thrift store because I had to drop some stuff off there and I ended up looking at the books there and the thrift stores near me rarely have good books but I was able to find a couple of YA books that I got mostly for Rory. I've read these and I wanted to get them for Rory because I thought that she would like them. So I read this so many years ago I barely remember what it's about. I know it's kind of like sci-fi-ish romance but it's called Matched by Ali Condi. This was a super popular book and I remember reading it after I read like Twilight and stuff. I don't remember a ton about it and I don't think, I know this is a series, I don't think I moved on in the series, but I think that Rory might like it so I picked this up for her. And I also picked up Stay Gold by Tobley McSmith and honestly I was so surprised to see this book at my thrift store where I live. I live in a very, very red state and this is a book about a trans boy. It's a romance between a trans boy and a girl in his school. I actually listened to the audiobook so I didn't have the physical book but I thought it'd be really good for Rory to read because she, she mostly right now likes fantasy romance, YA fantasy romance, but I think eventually she'll get into contemporary romance and when she does this book will be ready for her. Very excited about that. The audiobook's really good because it is also narrated by a trans man. And then I also picked up Glitterland by Alexis Hall. This is the new cover for it. Once you read the book and you look at this cover, you'll understand it a lot better and I'm obsessed with it so much. I love this cover. I got the physical book because I knew that it had like an extra chapter and a couple of changes in it. I actually listened to the audiobook, but I read the extras in this. And also 
This version of the book is super fun because it has Alexis's annotations in it. So that's super fun. Um, we read this for the Chronically Courageous Book Club, Avery and I. I loved this book so much. It is very heavy though because it deals with a hero who's going through a lot of heavy, heavy stuff. He has bipolar depression, I believe, and it is heavy on page. So I feel like Alexis Hall handles it really, really well. But of course, I can't really speak. I can speak to the anxiety part of it because he has anxiety too, but I do not have bipolar depression. So I can't really speak to the representation there, but I know that Alexis Hall takes good care of that type of thing. Sorry if you can hear in the background Shadow and Bone because my daughter is obsessed with it and she's watching it again and she has volume up really loud. Litterland by Alexis Hall, such a good book. I also got the special edition cover of Lovely Bad Things by Trisha Wolf. I love this book so much. This has a serial killer in it. Nobody writes dark romance quite like Trisha Wolf. She writes so beautifully. This book is no exception. It does end on a cliffhanger though. It is part of a series. This as a standalone is not a romance, but there is a very, very good romance in it. And like I said, it deals with serial killer, really, really interesting hero and a really, really interesting heroine. I love it. And I'm obsessed with this cover. I want to get the original cover too, but this cover is really pretty. And this is from cover to cover book box. I also got sent to me in PR, Promise Me Always by A.L. Jackson. I love this cover so much. I don't know a bunch about it. So let's read some of the tropes that it's says. So this is a contemporary romance, romantic suspense, which isn't my favorite. It does have an alpha hero, it's angsty, band of brothers, close proximity, fake relationship, friends to lovers, grumpy sunshine, opposites attract, single parent, and a tortured lead. It is available on Kindle Unlimited. Is this out now? I think this is, this is out now. Oh, this is the fourth book in a series. I'm going to assume it can be read as a standalone since it was sent to me, but I'm obsessed with this cover. Gonna have to check out the first book in that series, see if I like it. So I also got a couple of things from Sam Costa because I am part of her Patreon. I got a bunch of not safe for work artwork that she included in here. <laughs> so I will not be showing those. I got Run Run Rabbit, which I have not read yet by Sam Costa. This one is a werewolf romance, I believe. The heroine is a werewolf. And then I think the hero is, oh yeah, it's a werewolf romance. They're both werewolves. The hero is an alpha. I also got Moonblooded Breeding Clinic. This is part of the Monster Bait series. This one is another werewolf. So Moonblooded Breeding Clinic offers a unique service, trigger a heat and breed with a werewolf in a controlled setting right before the full moon. So I think she's trying to get pregnant. And so it triggers the heat. That's really interesting. I can't wait to read this one. I hope they come out with the audiobook though. And then I got Rule by Jay, Jay Crownover. My husband actually got this for me for Valentine's Day. This is the new cover for Rule and I have the old cover. Rule is the first book in the Marked Men series. It follows a bunch of friends who own a tattoo parlor and like a couple of people outside of their little group. But I love this book so much. It's my favorite book in the series. And I saw that they recovered them and I was very excited to get to new, the new cover because the old cover is kind of horrible. So love that book. Also from my dear friend Esty, she got me a new cover of boyfriend material. Ooh. So I think she got this, yeah, she got this from Peaches Obviously, which I believe is the name of the Etsy shop, but it's an awesome cover of boyfriend material. Look how cute this is. I love it so much. This one is the first book that I actually read by Alexis Hall. So it's a very special place in my heart because it's how I fell in love with him. This is Opposites attract fake dating, so good. I had gone to this little downtown area not too far from me and they had this super cute bookstore there. And I had to buy a book from the bookstore. They didn't have a ton of romance, actually they didn't have any romance, but they did have a YA section. And they had The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. So I picked this up, this, is, this I got used, but I knew I wanted to buy something just to support the bookstore. So I got this one. I read the first book. Caraval is one of my favorite YA fantasies. And the first book, oh, I forget the name of it. Something of a broken heart. Oh yeah, Once Upon a Broken Heart. The first book is kind of a spin-off of the Caraval series and it follows Jax, who is a character I absolutely loved in that series. I didn't love Once Upon a Broken Heart as much as I liked Caraval, but I am interested to see where it goes. So this is the second book in that spin-off series. Another YA fantasy romance, which honestly is a genre I haven't been you know, loving the most lately. And then Esty also gifted me another Valentine's Day gift. She got me Stolen Air by Sophie Lark. I didn't realize like how big <laughs> this book is. I love the series so much. I definitely want to get the whole series, but I marathoned this series. This is a mafia romance series. It's so good. This book is really good. This is probably my favorite one in the series, I think. I don't know. I can't decide. I read them all back to back to back, so I don't fully 
remember what all the different ones were, but I think this is the one that has like beating, the, yeah, this is Beauty and the Beast vibes. Oh, it's so good, so good. You can, I think, read them as standalones, but it's such a marathonable series. And then I also was sent by the author, um, this duet by Maggie Cole, it's The Vow and the Auction. It's an auction romance, I believe, and it came in this super fun box that I actually kept. It's up in my closet right now, and a bunch of fun little extras and everything, but I'm very, very excited to read this duet. It looks so freaking good. The cover is amazing, and I love that this was sent to me. I'm so grateful. But yeah, definitely excited to read this duet. I have a couple of packages I have not opened yet. Um, they are from Pango Books. So if you don't know, Pango Books is specifically a book resale thing. So you can like list the books that you're selling on there and then you can get paid for it. And then you can actually, you can either like get the money for it or you can use that money that you get to buy other books, which is honestly what I've been doing. So I have a bunch of books on sale they're, they're mostly like books that like my mom has given me that I don't plan on reading, um, that I put on sale and like a lot of YAs that I don't plan on reading. I will link my Pango books down below, but I kind of forgot which books I got. <laughs> so let's open these packages together. Yeah. I opened that really weird. <laughs> All right, so this one. Oh, yay. Oh, so they are recovering this series and I wanted to get the, the old covers of it before I got the new covers of the Four Horsemen series by Laura Thalassa. All of these are like enemies lovers because it follows romances for all of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. The first one is Pestilence and I got the Pestilence cover. So excited to finally have this and this is in really good condition. And then this next one. Oh, she did such a good job of packaging this up. That was nice. Oh, okay. So I totally forgot about this. I got the mass market paperback version of The Hating Game because I will get any special cover of The Hating Game. I still, there are a few out there. I think there's a pink version of it that I still need to get. And there's also the UK version, I believe, of The Hating Game that I need to get. But I got this. The Hating Game is Enemies to Lovers workplace romance that I'm just absolutely obsessed with. One of my all-time favorites. I also love the movie, but I ended up getting this. And she included a little thank you note and some tea. Wait, that's so cute. Amanda, I need to message her and thank her for it. Like she let me know when she like put it in the post office and everything. What a great seller. Um, but yes, so good, great condition. I can't wait to add that to my bookshelf with my other hidden game book. So, all right, that's it. Those are all the books that I hauled. I am actually going to drink this tea. She got me blackberry citrus with zinc herbal tea. Isn't that cute? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and for enduring watching me and my giant swollen forehead. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, happy reading.